All right, guys, today we're going to start part two of the 2018 Honda Grom rebuild. If you check out part one, which I'll throw a link up in the top right corner, you know, we went over the bike, checked out all the damage front to back, and uh, then started to strip it down. And now we're here. Uh, what we're going to start first today, though, is mainly getting everything cleaned up because it is nasty. And then we're going to dive into the wiring hack job to see if we can fix all of this and then we're going to start the front work our way back some um, but before we get too far back we're going to dive into the swing arm because we're going to have to do some paint work and that way i don't have to mask off too much um, so we're going to save some of the rear plastic section until we get that knocked out get it straightened out cleaned up and painted and then this is some of the stuff that we've got to throw on today. Fender, the new boomerang, the other one was scratched up and we ditched the factory turn signals, got some flush mounts and of course new tail piece. This is the white piece for that top fairing over there. We've got to throw it on there. On this one, we've got to strip the stickers off and get the residue from the auction house and we've got some new levers some new bar in mirrors gauge cluster piece the rear tail piece and then the gauge cluster cover which is scratched just a little bit right up here and to correct one other thing from the first video was i thought the shifter was bent but it's actually the rear set here it's kind of hard to see unless you get it from just the right angle but it's bent a little bit so once we replace that it should straighten everything back out just fine well enough rambling let's go ahead and get started on cleaning this mess up and uh, we'll go from there later. All right, well, we've got her cleaned up a little bit now. I didn't do an entire detail on it. Um, I'm gonna wait and do that when we get done as far as the wheels and all the little pieces like that. But the big thing was to get everything under the plastics as much as I can and what I'm gonna be working with and around and especially in the middle of messing with this wiring, I wanted to see what I was working with. Definitely a little bit cleaner. No more riding on the fuel tank cover. Oh, and I just glanced over it real quick, but we did get the wiring mess off the bike. Big thing is we've got everything cleaned up for the most part. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's just gonna get dirty again and um, definitely nowhere near as bad as it was because it looked like it was just sitting collecting dust for months and months um, but right now we're going to dive into the rear swing arm and see if we can get that little piece straightened out there <laughs> cleaned up a little bit we got some of the surface rust knocked off of it and it straightened out some and we'll see if the swing arm adjuster itself can slide out now that we've got a little bit of room for it i've got a a new adjuster here so just throw it back in there and then we'll have to prime it paint it all that good stuff 
make it look as close to the factory black as we can. And we also just threw a new battery in it, tested the old battery. It had like 0.1 volt on it. Um, so hopefully that's all it was that was keeping it from starting. Not any of the wiring issues or anything like that from where, um, I'll be nice, from where the previous owner uh, messed with it some. So let's see, just got the battery thrown in and fingers crossed. Yay! We've got a little bit of power. Now the big kicker is will it start? Uh oh. Sounds good. I did check the oil just to make sure before we started it. You can never be too safe. It runs. Alright, so that's one um, big stress relief off my shoulders. Alright, so now that we know it runs, um, we can start putting back a lot more of um, the stuff we took off that was damaged. And go from there, guys. guys well, we just got done with a little bit of work on the swing arm here cleaned it up a little bit and I think it came out all right and the end plate actually fits pretty well on there and once everything's buttoned down you'll hardly be able to tell that thing looks a lot better than where we came from and then also just finished up, had to swap this damaged one out that was nicked on the end here. And then also had some residue that I couldn't get off. Swapped it out with a new one on this piece. And then we also swapped out this whole piece here just for the bottom here to get rid of the little toggle switch that the previous owner had on for his LED lights. And we also got the stickers off that were up here and down there. And also got everything mounted up front here. And we got the boomerangs on. We got the new piece here on the bottom of the gauge cluster. Top piece. But then there's also this piece, which is kind of my, uh, my bad on that. I thought this was all one piece here, but this is actually part of the gauge cluster itself. That's the shield, the cover over it. And of course, this is a separate piece here. I thought the shield was all one piece here. Uh, I don't want to get a whole new gauge cluster because then we'll have to reset the odometer. It's just a, another big mess that I don't want to dive into. So we're probably going to leave that there at least for the time being um, but yeah we've got the boomerangs with the flush mounts mounted up got the new front fender mounted up to get rid of the scratches that were right there so we're all good to go on that and as you guys saw we cleaned everything up so we've got the swing arm and now I mean, as far as what's left to do we still got to knock out the tail light the integrated tail light 
we've still got to replace the rear set here to straighten all of that back out. And I'm going to order tomorrow a new axle bolt because the end of that one's scarred up. And um, if I'm not mistaken, those are pretty cheap, less than like 10 bucks. So it'll be worth it. And it won't draw your eyes to this mark here, um, make it less noticeable. And then we've got to install the new levers, the new mirrors. And actually, sitting right here, we went with MZS. I uh, never run anything from them before, but we'll see kind of quality wise how they stack up. And they look to be pretty good. Of course, they're not 100 plus dollars a set, so you can only expect so much. But uh, that's that. And then the bar end mirror here, pretty adjustable. Let's see what those look like once we get them mounted up. And uh, I'll let you guys know what I think of those. And there'll be a, a link in the description if they actually fit well. And uh, if they don't, then in the next video, it'll be me. Um, crying and moaning about how they didn't work out too well when I also popped off the chain guard whenever I was heating all this up and doing that work we're going to replace the chain guard too because it had a little nick on it and those are pretty cheap and then also just replacing a little bolt that held the chain guard there and the chain guard's supposed to be in tomorrow and then we'll get the axle bolt ordered tomorrow and I think that's about it as far as stuff that we don't have and you know, we've got the rest of the stuff you know, right over here the rear tailpiece integrated light the new chain adjuster the new tailpieces etc but yeah that'll do it for part two guys thanks for watching and uh, if you didn't catch part one you know, I'll throw a link down in the description below and of course up in the top right corner you can click it to, to head straight over there as well but yeah thanks for watching guys and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one